Hey everybody, welcome back to another film of the week. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, excuse me if my voice seems a little scratchy. Uh, I just got done and what, uh, talking to a friend of mine, having a uh, very passionate uh, discussion in regards to, uh, you know, just certain things. <clears throat> Stuff that we won't get into here, but... Um, uh, we are back once again to do another Christmas movie, as we do for the film of the weeks for this December. Uh, we did Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, we did Elf, uh, we just did Klaus. Uh, so I figured just to dip into another film that I'm familiar with, just so you guys have just some content, just to be honest. Uh, I... Um, I've been busy watching other films. I just haven't had a lot of time to, like, sit back and watch, like, another holiday film that I have yet to see. Um, but to go, I guess you could say a little more, uh, well-known and classic to some measure, depending on when you saw it, I figured to talk about The Grinch. Uh, specifically, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, Jim Carrey's version of The Grinch. Um, directed by, uh, Ron Howard, uh, I'm not entirely sure if it was written by him or not, but, um, narrated by, uh, Anthony, uh, Hopkins, who, uh, uh, narrates through the story of Whoville, and they're getting ready for Christmas, they have a huge, huge love for Christmas, and, uh, we follow specifically, uh, Cindy Lou, uh, and her family, uh, and how they navigate through the Christmas holiday season, and at the top of a giant hill that looks over Whoville uh, is the Grinch, played by Jim Carrey, who hates Christmas. He ha hates everything to do with Christmas. He has a passion for it, and he's very, uh, very naughty, very uh, mischievous, uh, very uh, rebellious in nature, um, fairly cynical as well, and uh, he eventually meets Cindy Lou, and the two form something of a friendship, and he starts to learn the spirit of Christmas, but ultimately decides to take measures into his own hands, and decides to rob Whoville of Christmas itself, and take all their gifts to hopefully uh, break their spirits, and learn something more valuable, perhaps, about Christmas itself, and perhaps with himself as well, so... Um, pretty much just gave you the whole plot, but, um, but, but with this, uh, adaptation, uh, I, I have seen the original, uh, 30 minutes short, uh, which in and of itself is fairly good, um, and Dr. Seuss, uh, adaptations are very specific, there's not a whole lot of them out there, um, Jim Carrey would actually go out, go to do another one of uh, Dr. Seuss's books, uh, Horton Hears a Who, a few years later, which, I have vague memories seeing in theaters, um, and I vaguely remember liking, um, and it has, like, a similar types of, uh, aesthetics in terms of, like, the Who's look and stuff like that with how they look in this film, um, and there is a 2018 version of The Grinch with, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, which I saw a few clips of and I wasn't as wowed by, um, and I, I could say the same for this, um, it's pretty hollow, pretty cut and dry, ultimately it's a vehicle for Jim Carrey, um, for him to just do all of his acts and shenanigans, all his blah, 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 all those, you know, expressions and stuff like that, um, and at times it's, it's worthwhile, and other times it could be a bit redundant, and other times it could be a bit annoying, um, and mostly that is what keeps the film rather hollow yet tolerable um because without that you have something very very uh just you know uh just snoozy um i don't care for the rest of the characters i don't care for the for the who's and all that other stuff um what i found notable about the grinch doing research is that because uh, I've, I've noticed this when revisiting the film, because it was a while since I saw the original, or I've, or I've seen this adaptation. Um, aesthetically, it reminded me a lot of a Tim Burton picture, and I found out that Tim Burton himself actually almost directed the film. He was uh, brought on initially to direct the film, 
and then Ron Howard came in when Tim Burton left. So there's a lot of Tim Burton influence in this, specifically in the design of Whoville. And to give uh, uh, to give uh, 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 props, you know, there's uh, aesthetically quite quite an extraordinary feat there with the makeup, specifically on the Grinch. I mean, it is remarkable just how they were able to get the look of the Grinch and hearing the extensive uh, work that it took to get that to get it there and to see the overall results. It's pretty pretty great, um, and to see the level of expression that is that is still provided under all that makeup. It's really, really, uh, it's really fascinating and visually quite sound. So, um, and it has some charm here and there, mostly due to what Jim Carrey is doing. And by overall design, it has a very familiar and just like, you know, very vanilla in terms of a flavor. Um, but I would say it's harmless. It's, it's nothing, um, noteworthy, nor is it anything really, uh, uh, annoying. I mean, it is annoying at times, but not enough to where I'm like, I want to turn this off now. It's more or less with Jim Carrey and his, like, just shenanigans, just how he is as a performer. He's just very expressive, and that can be, that can be a bit counterproductive when it comes to, you know, how he operates as a, as a, as a performer um so it really comes down to whether or not you like jim carrey and i can tolerate jim carrey and with that i can tolerate the grinch so um the makeup is amazing the production itself looks is pretty faithful um but the overall mood is the overall just uh the overall just Delivery and 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 in uh, and, and narrative, it feels stretched. It feels pretty snoozy. And then at the points your 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 attention is given to what Jim Carrey is doing, um, to some extent. And other times you're just like, oh my god. So, so it's it's mediocre nothing to write home about and nothing to like to get like angry about so okay okay when I was a kid I loved it I loved this movie I was like just delighted by it and I still get a kick out of it a little bit but as an adult and seeing just how it's how it's made um I, I'm actually more curious to have known what Tim Burton's version would have been like it probably would have been a little bit darker and I feel like the cast would still be the same um, because strangely enough, Dr. Seuss was also obsessed with like getting celebrities for his, when, when it came to like selling the film rights, I guess there was a point of like, he wanted, or at least his wife was like adamant on having celebrities, uh, you know, uh, be the stars of said films because she wanted the films to be, uh, marketable, you know, not just some unknown playing the part. So at one point, Jack Nicholson was actually going to play um, the Grinch, and thinking about it now, that actually is probably, probably would have been, if Tim Burton directed it, uh, it would have been an interesting take, um, but, you know, I, I, I also don't know who else fits the bill more for the Grinch than Jim Carrey, so, as much as I have my issues with his overall comedy, his overall delivery, he is probably the better interpretation of said part, so, but, but it doesn't mean that it's overall great, so, it's okay, and I feel that that's pretty much the best that I can give it, so, so yeah, so those are my thoughts on How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, the Ron Howard, uh, directed version, Jim Carrey starring, uh, okay, um, much better when I was a kid, but okay now, so, you guys know your thoughts on The Grinch or How the Grinch Stole Christmas, whatever title you choose to give it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, what were your guys' thoughts on Tim Burton potentially directing it at one point? Would that have been interesting? And how was the 2018 version? Was that one good? Was that one worth watching? I don't know. Animation-wise, it looked nice, but, I mean, you guys let me know. 
And that's going to be it for this film of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video.